Hey, this is Andy Mandel with the Mandel team at Remax, and today we're here to talk about what happens when you're selling your home or when you're buying a home and the property does not appraise. So one of the steps when you're selling or buying a property is to get an appraisal on the home. So the appraisal is ordered by the bank, the mortgage company who's uh, doing the mortgage for the buyer. What they have to do is they have to hire an independent third party appraiser. So they don't work for the buyer, they don't work for the seller, they're completely independent of both parties. And they're gonna go out there and they're gonna look at the property and they're gonna take notes of the upgrades, the condition, you know, the location. Do you have a beautiful lake view in the back or do you back up to a busy highway? Things like that. And then they're gonna go back and they're gonna look in the last six months at what has sold in that same neighborhood with similar characteristics. So similar square footage, bedrooms, bathrooms, stuff like that to make sure they're comparing apples to apples. And they're gonna give their uh, official assessment, their appraisal of the property saying what the, the appraiser thinks the property is worth. So if you buy a home for 400,000 and the appraisal comes in at 375, what do you do? So the way the contract is worded here in South Florida, you know, the deal is contingent if your buyer is getting a mortgage, the deal is contingent on them getting the appraisal because without the appraisal, they cannot get their mortgage. So that basically just means the buyer and seller both have to renegotiate. As a buyer, you really don't wanna to pay too much more than appraised value because if that's what someone who's trained at, at valuing property says the property is worth, they're probably pretty close unless they made some sort of glaring error that we can deal with. Um, so as a buyer, uh, if the property is just absolutely perfect and there's multiple offers and you have to have it, you can agree to pay above appraised value. So if the property sells at three, uh, it appraises at 375, you can say, I'll give you 380, 385. And then the seller has to agree to come down from that $400,000 price that was initially agreed to, to the 385. So you basically just renegotiate. If the appraisal comes back and it's clear this person just did a very, very bad job, they use comps outside of the neighborhood, they just did a really bad job, we can go in there and challenge the appraisal and say, this is why we think you know the value should be higher or lower or whatever it is, and see if we can get them to reconsider and to adjust the value on the appraisal. Uh, that way we don't have to renegotiate because most buyers don't have a ton of extra money sitting around to go pay above market value for the property. So it really does become a, a renegotiation uh, when this happens, but we are experts in this. We actually deal with this all the time. Some you know, appraisers, they're not always perfect. So we do have these instances where the appraisals come in low and we have to renegotiate or we have to challenge the appraisal. We deal with it all the time. We're experts in this and we can walk you through that, that process, make sure we get everyone to the closing table and everyone's happy with the deal that they, that they are getting, both the seller and the buyer. So if you're thinking about buying a home, thinking about selling a home, there are a lot of steps that can get very complicated in this process. Give us a call. We're the experts. We sell 70 plus homes a year. Uh, we'd love to help you out with this process and make sure that you're fully informed and you're getting the absolute best deal, whether you're buying or selling. Thanks so much for tuning in.